Okay, this morning we got a walk around video, the 1938 Packard 12 limousine, it's a model 1608, and this is a 12 cylinder. Speed manual. It's 473 cubic inch. Believed to be one of only 20 known in existence. This particular one. It was formerly part of the balloon cough drop state, the cough drops. And I'll try not to geek out too much about it um, and just go over its condition. I totally get the modern exotics, but these, uh, these type of cars are just art and craftsmanship that I don't think will ever be replicated in history. So it is a Mega Loop 1 First Class National in 1966. So based on its condition, it appears that it was restored a few decades ago. So it shows quite nicely, but it does show age throughout there's blemishes in the paint there and there's scratch and paint cracks the laminate of the windows it's aged uh, around the edges it's got this magnificent just opens up the entire length of the luxurious back seat. Scatty's privacy curtains. A little tricky with the sun. These directions I'll try to camera on the right angle here to get a better appreciation of the condition of the paint. The body looks superbly straight. I don't see any signs of previous damage or repairs or rust. Once again there is blemishes chips on the are proper. The interior is just magnificent in preserved condition. There is the placards where it was first prize senior national winner in 1966. First prize national competition. And then it has its manual and Jagger watch tag. Shows about 59,000 miles, and of course, being in 1938, there's absolutely no way to know or document that those are original. But I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be the original miles. 
So there is that superbly large moon roof with a uh, dual glass protection. So here's a glass that slides as well as its heart slider to cover it as well as a windscreen, almost like a second windshield. It does have its privacy divider. Once again, the glass shows its age. It's got this just magnificent Jagger watch right at the center. Upholstery, it's truly nice condition. Um, it's got the, some type of communication device or walkie to talk to the driver which is placed in the trunk, as you can see from the photos. It has the extra passenger seats there that hide out to make a very large rear sitting area. Slides back. You can put extra luggage there. There is that communication device. Once again, the metal of the car just in superb condition. Okay, it's a six volt battery system. Again, three gears. First, <clears> or <throat> what would it be regularly? A first is actually reverse, and then first, second, and third. Um, to start it, so key there, and then you press the start button. It turns really slowly because it's a six volt system, um, but the car usually fires right up. Uh, we keep it on a tender to make sure that that battery has enough amperage to turn that big old V12 motor. So I've owned a number of Packards in the past. This is my second V12 of the pre-war era. I've owned several eight cylinders and a couple of these little sixes. And uh, I know Rolls-Royce it's known as the standard of craftsmanship, but I must tell you, this car is no different from my previous experiences, that these engines are just absolutely magnificent. You can barely hear it running. It starts right up. And from a pre-war perspective, it makes one of the best drivers out there. There's so much torque these engines and they're so smooth um, it's truly an engineering marvel how fantastic these cars are Very 
nice acceleration, no smoke in the rear, and just a truly fantastic driver. I personally like vehicles that show their age in a matter that it's preserved and survived all of these years. So it's certainly a great candidate to do a concourse restoration. The car is all there, all original, but I personally just drive. Like anything I think it will ever be built. The craftsmanship on every single piece of the car, the clock to engine details to the dash. To the seats hardware, to the door handles, just everything is There it is, Packard 